The largemouth bass is a native North Carolina species and is found throughout the state. As the state's most popular game fish, the largemouth bass receives a good deal of fishing pressure. The North Carolina Wildlife Resources Commission monitors this game species to ensure that populations remain healthy and there are plenty of fish for anglers. Every one to three years, biologists monitor largemouth bass populations in North Carolina's major fisheries, mostly in lakes. Biologists investigate fish abundance, growth, health, and reproduction. This information is used to evaluate fishery management plans and fishing regulations. The most efficient sampling method for largemouth bass is electrofishing. Probes connected to an electrical generator on the boat are immersed in the water. For safety reasons, the generator can only turn on when a foot pedal at the front of the boat and one at the back are depressed at the same time. With both pedals depressed, 1,000 volts of electricity pulses through the probes. The shock stuns the majority of fish within an approximate 10-foot field around the probes. Biologists dip fish out of the water wearing rubber gloves to prevent being shocked themselves. Electrofishing does not work well if fish have a lot of pathways for escaping the electrical charge. That's why biologists prefer to sample largemouth bass in the spring. As the waters warm in the spring, largemouth bass move closer to the shoreline to spawn. When largemouth bass are in shallower shoreline waters, there are fewer escape routes available for the fish. Normally, only targeted species of fish are collected during sampling and are placed in a live well. Most fish recover within two to three minutes. The sampled fish are individually numbered, measured, and weighed. Biologists record total length and mass of each fish in metric units. Fish age in each subcategory is determined. Biologists can age a fish by counting growth rings on a scale removed from the fish. A more accurate method is counting the growth rings of the sagittal otolith, or ear bone. Normally, with largemouth bass, 10 fish from each 25 millimeter subcategory are sacrificed and their otoliths removed. All the remaining fish are returned to the water. After the data are collected, commissioned biologists look specifically at fish abundance, size structure, condition, and age and growth of these species. Biologists analyze these data to determine whether the largemouth bass population has enough food, is not too crowded, and is growing in a manner to support a healthy fishery. If the data indicate that the population could be improved, biologists may recommend changes to the fishing regulations or stocking of fish, or habitat changes that will help improve the fishery. For more information on other methods for studying wildlife, contact your local wildlife education center to learn more about the management programs happening here in North Carolina.